Yo, what up, world? It's your boy Derek, aka Weezy, aka all of the crazy nicknames that I gave myself over the past couple of years. Um, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Lee. She saw my album video blog and kind of do some darts at me and everything. And I just want to apologize for leaving her out because she is, you know, a huge a blog and everything. And I don't want, I really didn't, it was like I was just going off, just shouting out mad people that I knew and I left her out and I didn't mean to leave her out. So I just want to get out of the way. I apologize, blame it on my mind, not the heart. All right, let's get to it. Um. No, I was watching the show in the vision yesterday and dude from City High, Robbie was on there and he was on there, he had a drinking problem and everything and they was going through his story, how he was performing in high school, how he was, you know, doing shows and stuff. Then he got the soul deal with um, City High, for, for Rod Clef label. He said, actually had four um, soul deals on the table or deals or whatever. He signed with Wyclef for City High with when he was then dating Claudette Ortiz. So that was something that was unknown to me and probably a whole bunch of other people too. It was like, he was dating Claudette? It's like, wow. And then all of a sudden, you know, you hear, you know, I didn't even know they was together. I mean, I saw him one time in concert in Baltimore and everything and you know they was together. The next thing you know, all of a sudden, I thought she was, they thought they were like all single, <laughs> you know. And all of a sudden, they heard, you know, we had, she got with the dude Ryan Toby, who was also in the group, and they got, they had a chair to baby bomb, they got married, probably got some more kids. So everybody, you know, we all thinking, like, oh, that's all good until we found out that she dumped Robbie to get with him. It was like, that's just, that's just wrong, you know. I mean, I could play devil's advocate. Kind of like, you know, in 500 Days of Summer, when Summer told Tom that she saw with the, the and the guy that she got married to, she saw in him what she didn't see in him. Now, it could have been a factor, but still, though, you know, they are in the same group. You can't, you know, just dump somebody and be like, oh, am I just, I'm going to dump you, and I'm going to, like, next, next, next turnaround, you know, next breath. <gasps> oh, I'm going to get with this next person. <laughs> it's not right, not cool at all. Um, but, you know, we were in that industry and everything, and it's just kind of just crazy what's going on. You know, you have to live up to those standards, live up to that level of stardom or whatnot. I mean, I only had two singles out, so I wasn't really in my stardom there. But, you know, so what can we do? What can we say? You know, that's their lives. All we do is watch TV, we listen to the music, you know, all we can do. Um, something else I want to talk about. Don't you hate when you, oh, excuse me, I need to right there. Don't you hate when you have something on your mind, and you say, we're going home and talk about this, and this, that, and the other, and then all of a sudden you just forget about it, and you're like, like, the hell was I thinking about? Oh no. Well, something, something I was thinking about, and... I don't know. It's just like completely just vaporized. It's, it's gone there. So I guess I can just end this here, post this up. I'm trying to drag on to see if I remember and it's not working. So I'll see y'all. Chuck Williams 8212.